Oh yes, come to mama. Hi friends, and welcome back to Amanda Muse. It's that time of day, you guys know me, guess what I'm doing? Not a very typical one. I'm making coffee, people. And I'm always talking about coffee. I live, eat, and breathe coffee. Well, I mean, I do other things, like also there's burritos. Yeah, I love me a good, solid cup of coffee. And I know there's plenty of ways to make coffee, but I'm gonna share with you my favorite way to make coffee, that's using a French press. I personally think it makes the best cup of coffee. Like seriously, I prefer my coffee than coffee at Starbucks or anywhere really. Like that's how much I love my coffee. Step one, boil some water in your kettle. Find a clean coffee pot. Find some coffee, this has been my favorite lately. It tastes good and it is relatively inexpensive. Get yourself a tablespoon because I like to measure exactly a tablespoon. And a coffee press this size, which I don't know what size this is, but this is like your average size coffee press. I like to use five and a half tablespoons. I'm very precise. Let's start adding the coffee. One. Five. And a half. Now time to add your boiling hot water. I add the water just, try to get the most bang for my buck. So now you take the top of your French press, find the opening, and what I like to do is just let it rest now that's going to steep for about three, three to five minutes. She's steeping beautifully. You can see how the coffee likes to settle at the top and that's okay. And then what will happen is when you're ready to push it down, the coffee will be pushed down to the bottom and you will be left with beautiful coffee. The coffee that I'm using is a little bit more coarse grained. And that's something you want to look for if you're going to be using a French press. Pay attention to how it's ground. If it's very, very fine, it's harder to push through the French press. Not a big deal. What I've done in the past is before I actually push the topper down um, I would just take a knife or something or a spoon and give it a little stir just to shake up the grounds a bit because you'll notice if you try to push it down water will try to escape its physics so while I'm waiting for that to steep if you're new to my channel please subscribe I put out videos a few times a week I am changing up the schedule a little bit but you definitely will see my face at least once a week probably twice and also I have been snapping like crazy that's one of my favorite apps at the moment I'm a lover of Instagram but I also love snapchat it's fun to get those snippets from your day and just kind of random silly stuff that I probably wouldn't put into a vlog so if you like those weekly vlogs of mine then you should add me on snapchat I'm a man and you can catch all the little bits and bits between, you know? Okay, back to steeping. Let's go with a nice classic white mug. All right. I like a little honey in my coffee and also, and also some creamer. Lately, I've been using this fat-free creamer and it tastes really nice. Of course, it goes without saying, the longer that your coffee steeps, the stronger it's gonna be. But quite frankly, strong coffee doesn't necessarily mean bad coffee. In my opinion, if it's a weak coffee, it actually doesn't taste good. It's watery, it honestly just tastes gross. Where if you let the coffee steep a little bit longer, it's gonna have almost a creamy, it's like a creamier coffee. It just tastes so much better. So do yourself a favor and let it steep the appropriate amount of time. All right, here comes the fun part. I go slowly with this part because I don't like it when the grounds get involved in the main coffee. Now, of course, with the French press, there is a chance at the bottom of your cup when you're done that you will see little bits of ground coffee. Not a big deal. I warn you, I can actually pour things nicely, but this thing tends to leak. I think the spout is a little bit too small. Anyways, let's pour the coffee. See, this thing leaks. Why? Why do you do this to me? Wasting good coffee. I like to add enough creamer where it gives the color that I like. That's about right. There we go. Stir this bad boy up. See, I might need more cream. Yeah, I need a touch more cream. It's like a color that I'm looking for. If I'm out, I tend to order two creams, one sugar kind of thing. So that's kind of, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Mm -mm. And there you have it, my friends, the perfect cup of coffee. Oh yes, taste test. Da, 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 da. It's very full. Perfection. Mm. Another thing I love to do, to drink my coffee hot. That's my favorite thing. And not like reheated hot, but like actually hot, like right now. So that being said, I'm gonna go do that. I'm gonna go drink my coffee. Mm. 
I'm distracted. The power of coffee is real. Now you know how I make the perfect cup of coffee. So let me know, how do you like to have your coffee? And that is it, my friends. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to add me on all my social media stuff. Links are below. And that's it, so keep it real, and I will see your face in the next video. Bye. Mm. So good. Lately I've been doing a little bit of garbage picking and look at this thing, it fits perfectly. Now we need to paint it and just refinish it a bit um, and just clean it really, but this fits perfectly 